Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back to another video here at Sunnah Discourse. Before we get started, please make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Additionally, if you do like the content, please make sure to share the videos that you do like. So therefore, other people can also access the information and benefit from the good that we are putting out. ta'ala. This is going to be a juicy video. Uh, for those of you that are long-time watchers, uh, you might recall a video recently put out by Bunur uh, in which he is, in a rare event, praising or agreeing with Ammar Nakshwani uh, in the points that he makes about shirk. So for those of you that haven't listened, Ammar Nakshwani uh, put out a video um, about um, speaking about Maryam alayhi salam uh, and how the Christians have gone very far in their uh, extravagance and how they overpraised and they've added her to worship. And then he makes a comment about how there are some of the Shia who also have some of these similar beliefs where they go to the grave and they ask and they ask for uh, rizq and benefit and money and wealth and marriage, all of these things. And Ammar continues, uh, proceeds to uh, criticize that in his video, which we all saw, in which Bunur actually praises him for doing so. Uh, and by the way, just to point something out very quickly, this goes to show that our criticisms are not based on just sectarian hate. Uh, it's simply based on the issues which violate the tenets of Islam. And when a person from among them does say something correct, we have no problem agreeing with it because our issue is not with them or with a particular group, but rather with the uh, the ideas that a group will, will put forth and uh, that is used to deceive people and take them far away from the fold of Islam. So in this particular case, Bunur, you know, commends him. But there's a very famous... Uh, Shia or Rafidi uh, channel called Imam Hussein TV. And they also decided to upload this lecture that Ahmad delivered and uploaded first on his own channel. However, th there's a bit of a difference when I want to go watch this video. And before we get into that, I actually want to play uh, a portion of the video where I noticed the difference or where we noticed the difference. And I want to see if you, the audience, recognizes this before I speak about it. So let me bring in this video and uh, let's go ahead and take a look at where the issue is. Let me go ahead and play this now. This will be um, around the 48 minute, 48 and a half minute mark. Bismillah. Oh, people of the book, do not go to Hulat, extreme Hulu in your belief and do not utter a word against Allah except that which is true except that which is the truth when the Quran said Ya Ahlul Kitab Did you notice that? For those of you that watched the previous video with Bunur you'll notice that there's more to the segment and to the video that is the part actually where Bunur actually praises Ammar Nakshwani for not uh, for speaking against that and for criticizing the practices of the extremists among them are people who begin to ask from the grave and worship the grave and so forth and so on. But for some reason, Imam Hussein TV decided to edit that portion out. And if you watch very clearly, watch here. I'm going to just rewind a tad bit and we're going to see the, the edit again. At the 49 minute mark, you're going to find that they cut and moved to a further portion in the lecture. Haq. Oh, people of the book, do not go to Hulat, extreme Hulu in your belief and do not utter a word against Allah except that which is true. Except that which is the truth. When the Quran said, Ya Ahlul Kitab, La Taqlu Fi Deenikum. And right there at the 49 minute mark, you see they did a cut and shift. They put a nice little logo, Jesus, son of Mary, and they tried to cover the actual, uh, the cutting job, the editing job, but it was picked up. And people who have seen the previous video uh, that Bunur did, you're, you're definitely going to recognize that this is a, a, a cut in the video. In your belief, and do not utter a word against Allah except that which is true. Except that which is the truth. When the Quran said, Ya Ahlul Kitab, La Taqlu Fi Deenikum, Accept that which is true. Accept that which is the truth. When the Quran Accept that which is true. Accept that which is the truth. When the Quran 
O oh, people of the book, do not go to ghulat, extreme ghulu in your belief and do not utter a word against Allah except that which is true. Except that which is the truth. I now, as a Shi'i, I come and I say, Ya Allah, I ask you in the name of Imam Ali, no problem. But me going to ask the Imams directly, no, this is a problematic issue. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I mention the names of the Imams. Now, now I know that there are many in the Shia community, even if they say Ya Ali or Ya Hussein, what they mean is Ya Allah, I want your help by mentioning the Ahlul Bayt. But still, a person has to be careful. Imam al Radha alayhi salam one day makes it clear never ever associate us, the Imams, with rizq. That is only God's remit, not ours. Sometimes someone might come and say, Imam Ali, I need a house. Hazrat Abbas, I need, for example, a child. No, 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 no. That is only Allah's remit. Rizq is Allah's remit. No human being come interfere. You come and hold a dhari and say, Ya Abu al-Fadl Abbas, please can you give me a house? Please can you give me a wife? Please. That is not to do with Tawheed. Tawheed is I ask Allah always. And I mention the names of some of those who are beloved to who? Beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When the Quran said, Ya Ahlul Kitab, La Taqlu Fi Deenikum, do not go into extreme length or excessive lengths or transgress the boundaries of your religion. Now, the bigger question is, why would Imam Hussein TV do this? A, t a, 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 a program with numerous followers, with numerous followers, and it's probably one of the larger ones on YouTube, why would they go ahead and edit this portion out? Why is it when Ammar Naqshwani is speaking about the true Tawheed, about not associating partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not worshipping graves, not asking the dead for things only Allah can give them, not going asking, if not believing that the, the dead or these Imams can grant them rather than Allah granting them things or forgiving them. Why did Imam Hussein TV feel like it was more important to cut this out than to actually accurately represent what Ammar was speaking about. Is this intentional deceit? I mean, they have no problem talking about mud bathing and fire walking and people cutting their heads open and prostrating to graves and visiting shrines and like crawling like dogs all over their shrines, making these weird grunting and growling sounds as if they're having like an, uh, uh, I mean, a, a weird out of body experience, almost possession by the jinns and the devils. This is insanity. They would rather promote that then promote Tawheed. To the point where actually if I were Ammar Naqshwani, I would be outraged. You have no business editing my content. I'm not sure if he gave them permission or not, but if he didn't, I would be outraged if I were him. Why would you intentionally cut my content and deceive my listeners? If he's sincere in his message, why would he allow Imam Hussein TV to cut that out? Is his not... Is his original message not good enough for the people? Did he not convey what he wanted to convey about the shirki practices they have? So you have to ask yourself now, is Imam Hussein TV intentionally deceiving the laymen that listen to this channel in order to uh, uh, misguide them? In order, are they protecting and covering the truth about certain issues in order to keep them believing as they currently do. Is that something that would be happening? And this reminds me of what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran about the Jews who used to change the scriptures. They would cover the scripture. They would uh, cover verses of the Quran, I mean uh, of the Torah with their hands and ignore it, ignore por portions of it. They would take their rabbis as lords besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. اتخذوا أحبارهم ورهبانهم أربابا من دون الله Why? Because they would make for them what was lawful, unlawful. And what was unlawful, lawful to them. Is this not what these rawafid are doing on their channels? They're intentionally hiding what is the truth? Intentionally making lawful, what is unlawful, especially when their own scholars, their own 
authorities in uh, contemporary authorities in their religion and their da'is are telling you this is not allowed but they intentionally want to deceive the people at this point i don't know how much more clear we can become or how much more clear this can become this has i mean i, I if i were a shi'i watching this video i would be outraged i would actually be writing to imam hussein tv and asking them why they felt the need to cut this out when it was important it was a very it was probably the most important part of that lecture because we Muslims don't, you know, exalt the status of Maryam alayhi salam. We Muslims are concerned with Tawheed. This is exactly the message of all of the Anbiya. This is what makes them brothers. They have, as, as the Hadith says, we have different mothers, but we are brothers. Why? Because they have the bond of Tawheed. Lillahi subhanahu wa ta'ala. So why would they deceive people in Tawheed? Is this not the work of the devil? Is this not the work of the misguided people? You have to then ask yourself this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, again, if you have not watched the original video, make sure to watch that and you'll be able to see the full commentary by Bu Noor, which I suggest you watch uh, if you haven't. Uh, and then this video will make a lot more sense uh, because you'll see the editing job they did. And uh, it is quite shameful. If I were someone from Imam Hussein TV, I would resign, I would protest, I would be extremely upset uh, at this because this is something which is clearly deceiving people. That is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys have benefited. And if you did like the video, again, please share the video on your various social media platforms. Barakallahu feekum. Until next time, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Rizq is Allah's remit. No human being come interfere. You come and hold a dhariq and say, Ya Abel Fadl Abbas, please can you give me a house? Please can you give me a wife? Please, that is not to do with Tawheed.